Elizabeth was a normal, healthy, active teenager, and then in February of 2017, she um, ended up with transverse myelitis, and she has not taken another step since. So she's full-time in a wheelchair, which has brought a number of challenges. She's been a fighter through it the whole time. And it's commendable. I'm, I'm overwhelmed by what she's shown for, because she's been very tough. It's just such a blessing to be able to come in and, and really make her house look good and also functional. Look, your microwave. Everything's your height. Oh my goodness. It is, and I can open these perfectly. But to give her something like this is such a gift, and it's just, it's amazing. I mean, the independence is huge, and then the socialization and being able to have people come over and have a really attractive space and something to, I mean, I know she's so proud of this. It's a happy day. Yeah. <laughs> These are happy so, tears. We wanted to really come into Atlanta doing something good for the local community. So we partnered with Sunshine on a Rainy Day and brought in a ton of new partners that we work with who really, really care about what Sunshine on a Rainy Day is doing and we're just so excited to be a part of it. <laughs> now that she has a fully accessible bathroom, um, you know, she can strive towards that fully independent lifestyle. We've been thankful for everything that people have helped us out with. And it's amazing when uh, when things are hard sometimes, that what people will do for you, and you see the human spirit coming out. Thank you, Sunshine, on a rainy day.